In this week's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make analog synth samples for artists like Don Tolliver and FL Studio. Alright, so to start the sample off, I grabbed this 1984 brass synth preset by Kill September from Analog Lab, and I went into the piano roll with A sharp minor selected, and I just created an A sharp minor triad. So to do this, I just placed a note on the A sharp, and I skipped every other note, and then I repeated that for the second bar, and then I just took that same chord and I pitched it down five semitones. So I went one, two, three, four, five. And then I had an F minor triad for the next two bars. And then I add the C sharp to pass back into the A sharp minor triad. And then for the second half of the chord progression, I just added some seventh notes to it just to like make the chord sound a bit more thick and to add some variation to it. And this is what the chord progression sounds like with no effects on it. Then for effects, I went into the mixer channel and I added a parametric EQ cutting out a bunch of the lows and some of the highs. And then I add an RC20 retro color vinyl one preset. And then I add another EQ cutting out a bunch of the lows. And then I did like a sort of specific cut to get rid of some frequencies that are sticking out. And then I went to the EQ again. I just cut out a bunch of the highs again. And this is what the chord progression sounds like with all the effects on it. Then I grabbed this Police Chase solo lead by Loner. I think that's from his sample supply bank. And I went back into the piano roll and I just laid down this lead melody. And this is what it sounds like with no effects on it. Then for effects, I added a parametric EQ cutting out a bunch of the lows and some of the highs. And then I added fruity reverb and just turned up the wet, turned up the size a bit. And then I added another EQ cutting out a bunch of the lows and just a little bit of the highs. And this is what the lead sounds like with all the effects on it. As you can hear, the effects don't really do too much in terms of like changing the sound itself, but what it does is it tucks it back further in the mix, which is what I wanted. Then I grabbed this Dean bass from Christian 63's Moody Blues Analog Lab Bang, and I just laid down this simple bass line, mainly sticking to the root note of each chord, except I added a couple of passing notes just to transition between chords. Then I grabbed this high roller plucked keys preset by Loner and I went back into the piano roll and I just laid down these little notes. As you can see, they're literally the same notes from each chord, except I just sort of like RPGA them to transfer between chords. And for effects on that one, I literally just put a fruity delay and it's a ping pong preset and I just turned the wet down a bunch. And here's what the pluck sounds like with some delay on it. Then I grabbed just like a typical piano from Analog Lab and I copied the same chord progression from the main brass synth into it and I just pitched the root notes down an octave to add some bass and then I just add some extra notes here and there just to help with the balance, help transition between chords and just to make it sound a bit different. And this is what the piano sounds like with no effects on it.
So for beats like this, I often like to use like a guitar or a piano to switch it up. I'll copy like the main chord progression from whatever synth I'm using into like the more acoustic sound just because like it adds some variation to the beat and keeps it interesting. For effects on it, I went into the mixer channel and I added a parametric EQ cutting out a bunch of the lows. And then I went to Cymatics Origin and I added a tape drive chorus preset to it. And I just turned down like the vinyl sound a lot. And then I went into parametric EQ and I just cut out a bunch of the lows and some of the highs again. And this is what the piano sounds like with all the effects on it. Next I add this chrome plated classic synth keys preset by Loner and I went to the piano roll and I just laid down some triads to transition between chords. So then for the final sound of the melody, I rendered out the brass synth that I made the main chord progression in, and I got it down here, but as you can see I chopped it up a bit so that like it only plays for half a bar each time it hits. I assigned it to a mixer channel, and I added portal to it. I went to the waves create bank, and I added this word preset, and then I went into fruity reverb, and I just turned up the wet, turned down the dry, turned up the size a bit, and then I went to EQ, and I cut out a bunch of the lows, some of the highs, and then this is what it sounded like. As you can hear, it's kind of quiet, but it still adds some texture to the main sample, so I was happy with how it sounded. And then from there, I added a love filter automation for the intro, just to like keep it a little interesting. And I just add some risers, just to help transition between sections of the beat. And then after I did that, I selected the entire region of the sample, and I went to the master channel, and I hit this button to arm to record. And then I just rendered it out into this audio file, and I pitch it down 400 cents so that we would be in F sharp minor instead of A sharp minor. Yeah, that's it for the sample breakdown. Down. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. There will be a link to the sample in the description in case you guys want to use it in one of your beats. If you do decide to use the sample, make sure to follow me on Instagram and send me a DM with whatever you make so I can check it out. I'm going to let the full sample play out now and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.